Good morning, traders. Captain Jim James here with a special daily brief. I did post your normal daily brief on Twitter this morning. Sometimes you can feel lost picking the right stocks and earnings season to follow or to invest in. You seem like you always miss uh, the runners. I'm going to give you some ideas this morning on where to look for the rest of earnings season. Before we get into that, I just want to show you the historical investment exposure of the market against SPY. And these are these are where the banks are long in the market. It shows the, a, a bullish percentage rate. You can see 72, 68, 69. And you'll see we're starting to de-risk off the market here. We're down all the way to 58% bullish. Um, now we can go as low as the low 50s, low 40s, and the market will still go up. But as far as sell the market type situation, we are getting close. Uh, so I'll keep you up to date with this over time as we head into August and September. But as we continue to climb, uh, the, the risk exposure will become higher to a major risk off event. Uh, do I think it's happening this week? Probably not. Probably probably won't happen until the banks get their their money. They need to they need to and want to get their fills before they de-risk. So let's just take a look real quick at uh, category exposure in the market and, and fine tune it to subcategory exposure. This is really where the meat and potatoes is right here. So if you look at, if you take a look at, let's say, aluminum here, banks are long in aluminum. And that brings to mind Alcoa, right? Uh, I always look for stocks that I can trade shares or options on that are also retail friendly. So in these run-ups, not only do you get the banks involved, but you also get that retail FOMO leading up into ER. So that you can sell it before ER, the even the ER data if you, if you want to. So I would look, uh, do a Google search for aluminum stocks. Another one to look at, look at would be paper products. Although I'm a little concerned with uh, paper packaging not uh, realizing its profit at this point so but look up paper products and then some others would include auto and truck manufacturers advertising and marketing i like auto and truck manufacturers because you've got a cacophony of people saying that the banks aren't long in tesla when in reality they are they are long tesla they're long ford chevy uh, so uh, be aware that of what they're telling you and what they're actually doing in the background. Some others that you want to look at would be footwear. We already know about Nike, but that should also track into other uh, footwear makers as they will follow Nike's suit with direct-to-consumer uh, selling. And then you've got hotels, motels, and cruise lines. Um, which is kind of a shocker. You wouldn't think that they're long those the cruise lines and airlines, but they actually are. Another one would be restaurants, uh, and then also look at retail home furnishings, specialty finance, diversified REITs and residential REITs, managed healthcare, employment services. I like this one. This has a lot of retail friendly stocks in it that you can, or excuse me, yeah, stocks that you can play options on. We'll talk about employment services here in just a moment. And office equipment. I like the idea of office equipment into ER season. You've got Office Depot uh, as a great one, ODP. O -O -D -P. Then down here you've got uh, marine utilities, or, excuse me, you've got uh, yeah, multi-line uh, natural gas and water utilities. You know, more than likely these are low liquid uh, stocks to be playing. But you can also play ETFs in these cat or above these categories. You can play XLU, which has been very bullish the past, I want to say, at least week or maybe one to three weeks. Uh, so you can always pause this, come back and check these subcategories and start to search for stocks within uh, to start charting out for yourself, looking for bullish patterns. I, I did one over here uh, for off, you know, office equipment stocks. And right up top on Google, You'll see some of the most uh, well-known ones like Avery, Office Max. Start charting these companies out and wait for a chance to uh, buy a dip in one of these companies. Same would go for aluminum. Alcoa is well-known. Some of these other uh, stocks are, are, uh, are 
you know, under 10 bucks, you can play these uh, by buying shares. Natural gas. On Twitter, I posted about Cabot Oil, and we, we played them, I want to say, two or three weeks ago. Made some great money. And then you've got Exxon Mobil and Chevron both having ER dates this week. So here are two right away. You can look into charting out and playing pre or post ER. Here are employment service stocks. Uh, I always stick with the ones that I know, like ADP, Cali Services, Paychex. You know the banks are behind these uh, behind these employment services companies. Our companies, even if we have a down day one day and these stocks fall, the, the, they're going to hold these unless we have a market sell off. So these are the, these are three to watch in the in the coming weeks. I, I want to say some of these are probably have their ERs in in August or in early September. There's another one here, restaurant stocks. You know, water stocks we already talked about, or uh, we already talked about uh, water utilities. Probably don't want to be trading any of these, but the XLU ETF is one to watch. Now, just after doing these Google searches, ODP, this is a year chart on ODP. You can see this nice big fat pull flag and that, that a nice spring up up here. And then you also see that they came back down. The support was defended. Support was defended, support was defended, 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 defended. We have another bull flag forming right here. You know, this, and you can see here on July 19th when we had a down day in the market, or I think it was the 18th or 17th through the 19th or something that weekend, Friday, Monday. On Monday morning, this thing bounced right back and printed heavy. So maybe you set a buy alert down here at 4270 and get ready to buy yourself some options or even just buy that stock outright heading into their ER date. So I hope this helped you find stocks for earnings season uh, to give you some kind of an idea of where you should be searching for the banks being long. Uh, otherwise, have yourself a great day trading today.